Well, that shooting happened this afternoon at the Meadowbrook Station at 133 West 3900 South. That's in South Salt Lake. Police say two people were shot. Jim Spiewak is live near the track station tonight. And Jim, service was shut down while police were investigating. Yeah, Heidi and Mark, there was a lot of police investigators out here earlier today. They did have to shut down the service while that investigation went on. So there was a bus bridge that was put in place between Murray and Mill Creek. That bus bridge has since been canceled. So it is back to business as usual out here tonight. Just another day on tracks. Tim Pulley rides tracks all the time as it's really his only way to get around town. I ride the green line a lot. Sometimes I'll ride the red line. And today Tim showed up to the Meadowbrook station in South Salt Lake just a couple hours after police say three men were involved in a fight that ended up with two of them getting shot. I frequent UTA a lot and it's sometimes it's scary on these platforms. UTA spokesman Carl Arkey said that the three men involved took the fight off the platform. Down onto the tracks and that's where somebody ultimately pulled a gun. Two individuals were shot, one in the leg, one is in serious condition, one is in critical condition. Investigators were seen walking around the property looking for a weapon and other evidence. Arkey says police also are trying to figure out the relationship between the three men, what started the fight, and if they were even UTA riders. They're generally cameras that are in the system and uh, they'll take a look at the video that'll be part of the investigation right now they're still interviewing witnesses who were on the platform and did see what happened Arkey says the shooting was isolated obviously we operate in a public space and things happen in public spaces and so unfortunately it just happened to happen here one of our platforms UTA police out here say that no one else was injured or involved in this incident other than the three men. Again, they're still looking for one person tonight. That search continues. We're live in South Salt Lake, Jim Spiewak, KUTV 2 News.